Hey everyone, today I want to give you a quick review of the uh, Prima Photo Big Travel Tripod. I did buy this myself, uh, it's not a product place but they didn't send it to me so I bought it for my own use, I really like it, it's fun. Thought I'd give you a review and tell you some pros and cons on it. You can find this uh, item usually uh, around $100 right now. Uh, you can, if you're not in a rush, you can often find it on sale. Sometimes it's packaged with a, you know, another freebie, a camera bag or something. But uh, if you're not in a rush, you can uh, find deals on it. Comes with a really nice bag. I was really impressed by the bag, surprised by the bag actually. Um, it's got a nice little padding. It feels like a good sturdy canvas. Strap is on there so you can carry it if you want to. Really nice. It is a little tight to get out, but that's all right. So when you fold it like this, obviously not how you would use it, but this gets it the shortest distance. This gets it down to about 16 and a half inches closed. So this will fit into a carry-on suitcase like this. So take it and you fold it completely the opposite direction. And there's the basics of it. Take that, lower it back down, raise it to whatever height you want. So there's basic folded out position. Uh, these legs do have three notches. It's the widest notch there. So you can get your tripod really wide and really low to the ground if you want to by using the outside notches. I usually use the uh, first notch though. It does plenty for me. And it's plenty wide and plenty sturdy. I'll leave it like that for the table as you can see here. It has a normal archetype plate. One thing I like about the plate is there's a thumb grab there. You don't have to carry around a screwdriver or a quarter or a dime or a coin that you normally do. And there's a normal plate there. It's got some non-slip grips. Also on the head here, when you put it in, so right now I don't have it completely tight so it can slide, but it won't slide off. There's a screw in there that keeps it from sliding off. So as you, if you loosen it just a little bit to adjust it, it's not gonna slide off the tripod and fall off. It's real nice. It comes with Allen wrenches and comes with an extra center post screw. I'll get to that in a second. And it comes with feet for doing uh, pointed feet to do terrain stuff. Um, one thing uh, I don't like about it is I wish they were just more recessed. Some of the tripods have it where you can just unscrew this and it's recessed. These you actually have to unscrew and replace the little feet. So not a big deal. I rarely need the little feet. I mean, even on ground, you know, I mean, unless you're on something slick, this does fine. It's a nice thick rubber grip does well. I will stop to say right here, I've had my hands on the Manfrotto Element tripod, and this looks to be the exact same tripod. Not knocking Manfrotto. Manfrotto is a great company. I own some of their stuff. I'm very pleased with, I think, everything I've ever bought from them. But I've held the Manfrotto, and you'd be hard pressed to tell me this doesn't come out of the same factory. And, and just based on pictures, I haven't used it, the Mi Photo Road Trip looks to be exactly the same as well. Sure, that's a great product, haven't used it, but it looks to be exactly the same. One thing I do like about it here, you've got levels. You've got a horizontal level here, and if you go to use this vertically, there's a smaller, this one becomes a horizontal level there. So it gives you a vertical. And on top, when this is up, you've got a ball level here to further help you get that level. Of course, that's all assuming you're leveled out with your camera, your mount to the tripod. All right, let me go ahead and uh, mount my camera, my other camera, to this tripod so I can show you something that I like and don't like. Back to the thumb screw. I really like the fact that I don't have to really find a screwdriver or find a coin or something to tighten this. It's got a, feels pretty sturdy, good thumb screw. I've been using this tripod for about two months. I've been very happy with it. Uh, while I'm putting this on here, we'd like to ask you hit that like button down there and hit the subscribe button as well. You'll get updates on photos I do, videos I do. I do videos on home repairs and some on photography. And uh, the subscribe button will really help me out and keep the channel going. Uh, feel free to do the like and the share as well. So we'll mount this up here. I would always mount it this way because that's where the level is and I can see it's horizontal. And I like that. It's sturdy, it's solid. But one thing I don't like is this knob here sticks out so far 
so I cannot change the battery while it's on the tripod. If it was in about another quarter inch shorter, I could change the battery with no problem. Not a big deal normally, take the camera off and change it. But if you're doing some extended time lapse and you need to change the battery, you're gonna lose your position and everything and the whole time lapse would be off except for you've gotten one battery. So at that point, that's when it would be nice if you have a locked in shot and you need to change a battery, it'd be nice to be able to do that. That's about the only downside I can think that in the feet of this tripod. Um, still would highly recommend it, highly pleased with it. So here you've got a complete ball head. You can go down, go sideways, has this notch on the side here, which is excellent. It's got a nice tightness. It feels locked in. I've left it for hours. I've left heavier cameras, heavier lenses on here for hours. It hasn't budged, hasn't moved. The whole tripod assembly weighs about three uh, three and a half pounds, 3.6. But this up here is rated for over 17 pounds. That's one thing I like. You see a lot of tripods that are like rated for six pounds, eight pounds. Well, if you add a two pound camera and a three pound lens, if you add a flash, or you have a microphone if you're doing video and a strap, you're already hitting the edge and there's just not much wiggle room. If I have an eight pound limit on a tripod, I don't want to have seven and a half pounds on there. I, I want this thing to be able to hold the weight of my camera. I mean, I, I like to see a time and a half, at least if not double. And this one's rated for 17 pounds. And I tell you, I've had, had it on there and it's a sturdy tripod. Another feature this has here, spin this around so you can see it. If you just want to pan, it has an additional lock down here that just does panning. And on top of that, it's got degrees marking. So if you're doing some panoramics where you're making multiple shots, you know, you'd have to make sure it's completely level. Ways of doing that, but you've got degree markings there for each shot that you can do. And you don't mess with your tilt and all that up here on the ball head. So this is marked as a travel tripod and there's some great travel features I'm gonna get to here in just a second. Stay tuned. But first let me show you a feature here. You got this riser, about a foot, a little more than a foot rise um, if you use it all the way, which is really nice. But in addition to that, you've got this hook at the bottom. Now some people say, why do you want a hook at the bottom here? What would you use that hook for? Well, if you're windy or if you're trying to get it really disturbed, you can add some weight down here. Uh, right here I've got a little sandbag. Hook that on there. And it's just gonna make the tripod all that much steadier. And if you don't have a, you don't have to have a specific sandbag. This is one I use for video stuff. It's a really nice sandbag made by Matthews. But you can use a backpack. If you have this thing obviously raised up, you can use a grocery bag from your local store. Put whatever weight's in it, balls of water, candy bars, granola bars, extra pair of shoes, rocks, if you're out on the, you know, out on the uh, trail and hang that on there and it's just going to add a little more stability. Um, probably not going to do this much with photo, but if you had to, you know, you could even take that and use that as a tie down point um, if you wanted to tie it down with some rope to make sure it didn't tip over the top of a building if you're doing time lapse looking down off top of a building or something. So really nice little hanger hook there. Really like that. Now for one more of the travel features that I really like about this tripod. I don't want to take the camera off for this. I don't want to drop my camera. I'm really in the uh, opposed to dropping equipment, the expensive equipment and the fragile equipment. So one of your handles here, or I'm sorry, one of your legs here has a padded grip. Makes it really comfortable to carry and nice. You can see this tripod is pretty light, easy to carry. But if you take this one with the pad and unscrew it, now you got a tripod that's only two legs and it's not really good for anything. <laughs> what you've got here is you're really close to having a monopod. While I've got this here, let me show you. Rubberized thumb screws, really like that. Really tight fit. You can loosen all of them if you grab them with your hand really quick on all the legs, tighten them up. But here we go to the monopod. Take it here and unscrew the top. Take this little plate off. You have the option of doing two things now. Set that right there for now. This plate, if you look on the inside, has your hex head that matches the internal boat, bolt on this. So you can do one of two things. This bolt comes out.
put it in the hex head here and the plate that comes with it. And screw it in. There's your monopod. Quarter 20 screw, ready to go. But what I usually do, because I don't like to take my plate off my camera very often, is this is, if you reverse this, you can screw this right in. I'll show you that right here. You can do it a couple ways, actually. You can screw that in some and let it stick out. Or this bolt has a 3 8 and a quarter on one end, so you can reverse it also. Either way, it'll work because it's long enough to do both sides. Take the head. Tighten her up. And now you've got your head on your monopod. Makes this monopod a little heavier, but it gives you some options there if you need to. And you don't have to remove the plate on your camera. Take the camera, put it on there. Tighten it up. Get your monopod ready to go. When you're traveling, as I do, you want to put your tripod in your suitcase, take up less room, less weight. This one will fit in there. You're not having to take an additional monopod. You've got the option. So you can also see it as a, you know, if you rarely need a monopod, you mainly want to use tripod or vice versa. Buying this gives you both ready to go. And it's sturdy, feels good. It's got a nice weight. It's got a grip handle, foam handle here, very comfortable. And uh, you know, if you were doing some some people want to keep this friction a little loose here, so they can do a little tilty when they're doing it. Some people like to work like that. I don't personally, but uh, it is an option. This is not just a lock. It is a friction tighten. It's not a lock on or off tighten. It's a friction tighten. So that makes that real nice. I'm going to show you put the tripod right together real quick here. Put it back on here. Take the leg. Make sure it's not cross-threaded. Tighten it up. And you are back in tripod mode. That's it. So this is the Prima Photo Gear tripod. I recommend it. I'm happy with it. Been having it for about two months. Like it. And it's been sturdy, been useful. I've traveled with it. It's lightweight. They got spare parts in here. They got four, three feet, an extra bolt, center bolt for you. Uh, hex heads to tighten various as they come loose over time, as you know, screws do. They include the uh, Allen wrenches, hex wrenches to tighten those up. A little carry case. Really appreciate you clicking that like button below and the subscribe button, especially. That really helps my channel, and uh, you'll get notifications if I do other photography review videos at that point. Um, leave comments below and uh, ask me any questions if you've had experience with a tripod or you like a better tripod or if you have any questions about this tripod that I can answer. Um, and if there's any other gear that you'd like to see reviewed, I appreciate uh, leaving the comments below and thanks for tuning in.